What happened to manage wireless networks? This was a question asked to me by eWalkman on one of my videos, How to Find Your Wi-Fi Password. So I decided to answer it for him and for anyone else that has this question. So first, let's go to the history of it. In Windows XP all the way up to Windows 7, you used to have this gorgeous screen right here. You could edit any wireless network you've ever had. So if it was in France, or if it was in your house, or if it was in a friend's house, or if it was at a coffee shop, any place, you could have edited it. You could see the password, you could see what the security was, change the security, whatever you wanted to. Then Microsoft decided, hey, no one uses this. Why do we even have it? It's completely useless, which is a terrible lie. And they decided, how about we just right click on a local network and then you can just forget it, which kind of works. I would rather have the Windows 7 version, but they decided to do that. Then they decided on Windows 8.1, hey, no one ever forgets networks. It's just great that we can just have a huge collection of networks and you can never delete them. So now when you go to settings and then go to advanced Wi-Fi and then right click it, nothing happens, which is great, as you can tell of my sarcasm. So how do you fix it? Well, I'm going to show you how you fix this. So first, we're going to do the one that most people will understand, but it requires the most steps and the most time. So we're just going to right click on the little bar, open network and sharing center, go to Wi-Fi, go to wireless properties, go to security. And then there's another error, just type in any eight digit code, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click OK. Then you're kicked off of your Wi Fi. Go to settings. And then click connect. And then this happens. You're going to have to wait around two minutes for each, for this step. So first it's going to go checking network requirements. Then it will go connecting to the network is taking longer than usual. And then there will be a sound, and then it will say can't connect to this network. Then you hit forget network. So basically, this step is the longest of the three that I'm going to show you, but most people will be able to do it. Now, here's the second way. There, um, you can go to this site that will be in the description after I connect back to Wi Fi. And then you're going to go to this site that will be in the description. And then you're just going to click Continuous Free User. Then click to download. And then click Run. And then And you're just going to hit next. You're going to read the license agreement that I made. Click next. Click next. You can create a program group or you can just create a shortcut or you can do both. Then you hit next. 
and then you hit install and then you launch this third party thing created by the Windows group called Wi Fi 8. All right, here is the list of all the Wi Fi profiles or networks that have ever done. So let's check out one. Let's go to Sydney. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to properties. And there you go. It shows me the security type, the encryption, and the key. So there you go. So I know the password. So suppose if someone wants to connect to Sydney and I'm not no and I'm not even in the broadcast mode, I can just give them the password. But let's delete one of them. So I don't ever remember logging into um this one. So and even when I go to properties, everything is unavailable. So I'm just gonna right click it, then click remove. Now you see, it'll do this unavailable, everything's going to be unavailable. It's a flaw in the program. You just have to exit, rejoin, and there you go. Everything's back and set up. Now here's another error that occurs. When I click this and go to properties, there you go. It said that it was unavailable, but it shows you the key. Where when you right click, for example, let's try Sydney again. When you right click it and go to properties, everything says unavailable, 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 unavailable. Well, don't worry. It's pretty easy to fix. All you just do is right click, go to properties again. Bam, everything's available. Another error, but that's what you get for a third party. Last way is kind of a scary for some people but it's really not all you do is right click on the windows button go to command prompt admin click yes it will not work on the other command prompt you have to do admin then you look up the command codes which will be in the description or they are attached with the downloader for wi-fi 8 and then all you do is just copy one, command C, then right click, paste, enter, there you go. Now let's delete one. So let's delete access to. Now do not include the quotation marks, just use the name, just telling you guys. Paste, enter, and it has been deleted. Now let's look at a key. So let's go to Sydney again. Command C. That's odd. Cut. Oh. Continue. So you see, if you use quotation marks, it'll say that this that it is not found. So you have to remove the quotation marks whenever you type in a key. So we'll just copy it. Then we'll paste it and there you go. 
it shows everything that the Wi-Fi 8 did. It shows what the key is, um, what password it, um, what security it has. Cut. Here it shows everything that the Wi-Fi 8 did. It shows the name, the network type, um, the security type, the key. See the security type is right here. So yeah, and then let's change. Uh, suppose I want to change something to manual, um, so it doesn't auto connect for me whenever I um, log in. So for example, if I want to do that with um, Sydney again, I just type in the name. See? And there you go. And that is how you manage your wireless networks without the use of the Windows XP through Windows 7 uh, method. So, there you go. If you have any questions, comment below and please subscribe.